Yeah, that looks about right. Ah, oh, I was meant to be going to the shops, but uh, one of my stupid cats fucking scratched me in it. Only a little scratch, but he's, uh, that's all it takes, mate. Half a millimetre of fucking access to this stink virus. Yeah, I think that's all the screen in there. <sighs> Honestly, mate, one. This is immediately better than the C64 version. It actually plays really well. My biggest problem is this uh, stupid fucking joystick that you have to use. You have to use, mate. Ah, come on. Come back to that one in it. So, oh, there is a time limit actually. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Yeah, you go down there, little buddy. Ah, come on. Yeah, someone really needs to redo Chucky Egg for the C64. Shit. The business is a bit annoying actually. Windows is having a bit of a brain fart at the moment. I see, what am I supposed to do there then? So it's quite nice, but the, uh, the play testing for the ladder business. You know, it hasn't been done properly. The game is annoying enough without that bullshit actually. Oh, you have to jump on this shit actually. I don't think they can come up there though. What the hell? The ladders are so shit it's easier to fall off the fucking things anyway. And then what? And then what mad Commodore? These things are really fucking annoying actually. 
So they got that right. So it's a shame about the uh, you know fussy controls getting on and off the ladders. And it's really fast as well, so having to use this crap joystick does not help. Ah, crap, that was a bad idea. Well, luckily they're a bit dumb. Now I did load this once and it just fucking reset to the uh, basic screen with uh, yeah three and a half K free and uh, now I just loaded it again. I didn't do anything different at all and uh, it worked. So I don't know what that's about. I need 32k to play this game, so I ain't, I ain't gonna buy a 32k, you know, expansion for a Vic 20. So, uh, yeah. So there was another game that's also 32k, which is a bit like a uh, Night Law, it's an isometric type thing. Uh, however. Yeah, where is it actually? I can't see it. I wonder why I can't see it. It's called Pentagramio or something stupid like that. Well, the file is there, it's just not showing for some reason. So yeah, I mean it comes on a D64. And the trouble with the uh, the C64 full size, um, <clears throat> problem with that is, um, I did copy the fucking file, oh, I can't bother to look. Uh, yeah, problem with this thing is, uh, you know, you have to set the memory in the fucking files, and you can't do that if uh, the game comes on two files. Uh, inside, you know, a disk image. So, uh, I don't know if it's the same command to get a disk directory actually on this thing. Uh, is it the same command? Nah, uh, just out of memory. <laughs> That's not really working for me, actually. And if you run it from the basic prompt, you, you can't set the memory. So you'd have to write a program like 10 rem. This is to make the C64 full size. It, go into 32k mode save that as a PRG put the fucking file extensions on it and uh, <coughs> and then it might work well, the thing is I think uh, isometric games like Night Lore is shit I won't be doing that so I guess we're going back to the uh, crap games like this, the single PRG files.
You know it's a shit game when uh, there's no joystick option. Certainly not commercial quality. <clears throat> There'd be a bit of a problem. You have a swig of the old uh, Tiarino. What a weird bunch of keys. Mm. It's either that and that or that and that. Let's go. That was a shame about Arcadia. Move my bloody uh, yeah, those are the keys right there. So it's a typical uh, affair. <clears throat> Although they're doing reverse print statements, which was possible actually. There is a an SYS call or something like that <clears throat> that will let you do uh, what the C64 and the Vic 20 does when you insert an extra line at the top of the screen and. Um, it will actually shift all the characters down one for you. That's probably sitting in a magazine scan somewhere, but uh, why do I have to fucking find everything? Yeah, of course, uh, you can try thinking that. Oh, that was lucky, that was very lucky. So the cars are quite nice. They remind me of a toy I used to have, actually. It's called Dragster. It's got a sort of board game. <clears throat> might do a video on that. Might not. Who knows? Who knows, mate? Yeah, perhaps some colour would have been nice. They're bound to happen eventually. The cars don't move on the track or anything. So, uh, that's that review done then. <coughs> Sound effects are quite nice. Vic 20 was a very punchy little thing, I have to say. Right, so that's where we were. And, uh, I know what this fucking Windows machine is fucking annoying me now. Shut up you piece of shit. You know what the sound of windows is? Apart from a fucking shit hitting the water in the toilet. It's a fucking hard drive chucking away for no fucking reason. Millions of fucking assholes buying it constantly in the uh, late 80s and 90s well I hope they're all dead now that's all I've got to say fucking cunts <clears throat> it's their fucking fault that I have to use that window shit now and Irving Gould they should have shoved the Commodore 16 up Irving Gould's ass and stuck him in a casket like that fucking cunts Ah, do I want to play a game called um, Hospital Something or other? I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing. Let's try this Jupiter thing. Must be space based. It's got Jupiter. Ooh, he's Defender. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, that was a bit. <laughs> that was a bit ZX81 stop there to uh, draw all the little bits. Okay, there's nothing like Defender because you can't go the other way. Unless pressing space. Okay, well, why would you play a Defender clone where you can't go backwards and forwards and there's no one to rescue? 
I don't think the guy played this game uh, properly in the arcade. Maybe he was drunk when he was looking at people playing the arcade game. It's a shame because uh, if you could turn around and it was a proper defender play, it'd be not bad for, uh, <clears throat> for an unexpanded game. Why did I move there, Justin? You see, 5k of RAM is about the same as those early Atari VCS games. And so there's really not much room for, uh, you know, complex gameplay. And certainly enough to go left and right. So. Uh, Jet flight, blah blah blah, fly your jet flight through, through the other aircraft, what? Right, well if you can't be bothered to do redefined fucking graphics, then you can fuck off as well. Next! Did I do Luna Blitz? I don't know actually. It's by Rabbit Software, whatever this is. It's nice the way you can do that on the old uh, <clears throat> VIC-20. But I can't use that for scrolling. Okay, I've got no idea what kind of game this is mixed with. So I break out mixed with Space Invaders, you reckon? I don't understand. They put their shields on the wrong side. Another drunk idiot who went to the arcade and spent two seconds looking at Space Invaders, the arcade. Oh, is that it? So these are just sort of like barriers in your way. They're not the main uh, crux of the game. You have to sort these... Uh, things out up the top in the uh, breakout bricks. I'm not sure what happened there. So I didn't get all the white uh, enemies. It actually plays all right and the sounds are quite nice. This is what we've been reduced to. <clears throat> Alright, when when they accidentally shoot all the uh, you know the things this end of level. So why is that yellow thing helping me out? Is that like artificial uh, dual player simultaneous two player gameplay? With what the computer being the other player? I wish fucking combat had something like that, because it was a useless packing game. Absolutely useless, mate. And you don't want to get all of them because they'll refresh, which makes it harder. Oh, so that ends if you get the yellow one as well. Oh, even better laser cells. Nice one, mate. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, good luck finding it on eBay. eBay is full of shit nowadays. So now that I know what I've got to do. So he destroyed his own geezers. Am I supposed to protect them then? Okay, because the game just sort of ended. Oh, that's that's actually not bad. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how to play Log Run. There's some sort of problem with that, and I think it's a three K game. So 
played Martian Raider. Now, fucking uh, 22 column text adventures, you can piss off as well. Mad Drivers for Mad Commodore. Please wait, hopefully, while you're doing UDG. I think I'm going to have uh, a Jaffa cake. But don't get jealous. They're only the same three ones. Well, crew ball only. And play the game like this already. So that one is using print statements. And it's weird having the car at the top of the screen driving down to the floor. Very weird, sir. I think Max might be um, a Qbert knockoff. Might be. Whoa, 1984. It's a very rubbish one. And they've got the difficulty all wrong. Because he chases you straight away. So this is like one of those cunt arcades. Where they set the uh, machines to maximum difficulty. Where it looks shit and it's too difficult to play. But well, we did a level anyway. Now, if I wanted graphics like this, I would have saved 130 quid and... Ah, no, not this shit. It changes it back. Right, that's enough of that then. So, the actual graphics move quite smoothly and there's nothing wrong with the control, but it looks shit and it's annoying to play. And it's way too difficult. Let's try metagalactic llamas at the edge of space, I believe they are. That must be joystick because it's llama sort. Okay, so What's going on there? Like, if you get the web, how are you supposed to fuck? You can't jump or anything. Oh, you can go into the other side of the screen. Oh, right. That would be massively annoying. So, you can't get the web. You have to basically get them as soon as they're sort of like there. Very difficult game. So the only difference between this and uh, Max by Kingsoft, which we just played, is uh, it's more colourful. It's uh, that's quite a difficult game. That very simple and very difficult. That's not a good combination. Well, that's got blaster in the title, so um, yeah, fuck you, mate. You can't be bothered to do it for the joystick, then. Uh, <laughs> 1982. This doesn't bode well. Looks like a type. Very colourful. All oh, right, that's me. Ah, oh, come on with the shit, Khalid. I oh, got him. Piss off. Ah, 
I got him before, that one was a bit iffy. So it's kind of like Atlantis meets Missile Command. So the first bit is uh, too difficult because of shit collision detection. But after that, it's all right. Actually. This is probably considered cheating, but you know, got away with it in asteroids, you okay. So I finished the game, but I just forgot to put an ending in there. What's going on there? That's just great. It's an odd high score there, 53,012. Nothing to shoot. Oh, right. You can't. Right, so it's very difficult to get that bastard. So the cities do get rebuilt. Yeah, there's something wrong with this. Ah, well, it wasn't bad, but you know, I want to stare at a blue screen. I just use Windows. Blue screening piece of shit. And if you don't agree, you're a cocksucker. Meteor, something or other. 1980. Well, this is going to be shit. Well, actually, for 1981, this is not bad. I've seen much worse. And possibly uh, just this afternoon. So that would be yesterday afternoon, so I'm not going to upload them all at the same time. So I'm pushing back, which is usually the thing for hyperspace. Ah, I don't like dodgy collision detection, it's fucking annoying me. It's doing something when I shoot it, but it's just not fucking getting smaller. There it goes, it's just pop luck getting them. So the collision detection is absolutely wank. I do like the blue background. I am a blue background kind of person back then. Obviously Windows has ruined that for me now. But they don't actually drift, they kind of stay in the uh, you know, the same diagonal paths and uh, horizontal and vertical paths. Because look, so that's what's wrong with this game. The, the drift is, uh, I don't know, it's too exact. What the hell is. Uh, It says joystick. Okay, one. one. Now, it's a minefield to start again. Uh, there was another game actually, I think it's called Nibbler. Yeah, perhaps you could have just started with the uh, maximum number. You can't move, and it did say joystick, so next. Why is it two to seven? No, for fuck's sake. Bollocks, I'm not playing anything that looks as shit. I could have written that if I wanted to, mate. Missile panic. Missile panish. Miss any key. Okay then, no, this looks shit. What the fuck am I then? Uh, I'm not controlling anything, so... Mobili. Okay, press any key. 
Well, I've done like those controls. Like I said, not playing anything that looks like shit. You can do user-defined graphics, so fucking you do them, innit? 